as I was heading on down, I kept noticing that there was a you know, strange smell. And as I was walking, something began to pace me from inside the wood line. And that had never happened before, even with my dad being there all those years. So I was listening and I heard step beside me. Hello? Hello? I just blew it off. I continued walking. When I did, pretty soon the steps continued beside me. And I thought, man, now that's too coincidental. So I stopped again. Hello? It kind of made me uneasy, but then, you know, it, it, when you're in the woods, your imagination can run wild with you. I've quickened my pace a little bit. Pretty soon, this whatever this animal is is walking beside me again. I thought, well, this thing is actually pacing me over here, so I started jogging. When I started jogging, this thing was spoon, spoon, spoon. And I realized whatever it was was paying attention to me. So I took off running. All of a sudden, <laughs> when I heard this animal roar at me, the first thing that impressed me was volume. Oh my gosh. Your clothes vibrate. It's that loud. We have cottonmouths, we have copperheads, we have rattlesnakes. I ran through the woods with disregard for those things. I realized what I had was going to be a whole lot worse than a snake bite. <laughs> I cross the road, look around, nothing there. So I'm like, man, whatever that was, you just considered yourself lucky. But I went that night and I bought me a Bowie knife. I thought, I'll take care of that sucker next time I'm down here. It was just an eerie feeling. My hair stood up from the back of my neck. It felt like it was coming from the trees. The kids, they weren't there. There was nobody. I was scared. I was worried. Uh, I couldn't find them, you know, and like, where did they go? Tom! I was April. searching for them and yelling for them, but they wouldn't respond to us. Tom! April! It was scary. Tom! I was scared. You know, that's my son, my only son. Tom! To me, a, the military instinct is just try to find them. I think I see them. I ran through the bushes and the, the trees over there. Thank God that we found them. Tom. And I said, what are y'all doing? Tom, I'm glad you're okay. They were like kind of hypnotized, like they were in a trance-like state. They wouldn't respond to us. I finally got their attention. The kids did say that they followed somebody. And they said the man in black was calling them, and that they, the man in black called them into the woods. The man in black? It was kind of creepy, you know? Take them. I'm going to find them. Come on, let's go back. I started searching, trying to find this person that lured him in the woods. I wanted to capture him to call the police. I searched everywhere, 
trying to see if I could find this man in black. But I didn't find nobody. After that day, I would get chills. I would get chills, you know, goosebumps. And I tried to kind of like ignore the situation. I'm trying to think it's not real, but I, I was afraid. We both felt someone was watching us. We felt like not alone there. We just felt like, almost like prey. The presence that I felt was not human, and it was evil. I was fully panicking after being lost for a good hour. It was terrifying. I never felt that way going into the woods, ever. Why are we going? We gotta keep moving. I really thought that we were gonna end up as missing people. I was getting hysterical, I was crying, and Jason was trying to seem like we were gonna be okay, but I could tell that he was scared too. There. What? Lights. Melissa was very happy that we found the trail. Finally, we saw the cabin. It was a huge sense of relief. I just felt like, oh, thank God. When we got home, I had this odd feeling that something had followed us back out of the woods. I definitely felt some kind of evil presence. Something was causing me to feel dreadful and terrified. Electrical occurrences started happening. You just feel this electricity in the air, but you'd feel a presence, your hair would stand up. And you could actually hear the button clicking. It was very creepy. It's really strange activity that we never witnessed before. old house. And then boom, just full blast. The lights, the fans, the TV. We have a TV. Everything full blast turned up. I got so frustrated at one point that I just screamed. Stop it, leave us alone! That's when I first knew that Matt was really scared because he blocked the stairs. Boy, something really spooked you. And coming out of the woods back there, I saw this black thing. Over here. And we see this creature, it was crawling. The moon was really bright that night, so it lit up the entire backyard, but only good enough to where you could see the figure, but you couldn't see, like, details of it. What is it? I don't know. Bear? Look at those shoulders. Its shoulders were really, really broad, really wide. I was terrified because my body knew it was something different. It stood straight up. He was huge, taller than any human. It was something I'd never seen before, and it freaked me out. And it just started walking on two legs like a human. It's coming right towards us. And that's when I started freaking out. Whatever it is, it's coming for the cabin. 
I was terrified, and now I can't move. I don't want to take my eye off of this thing this, to know what it's going to do. I was just ready to scream. And it stopped and got back into crawling on all fours. And then all of a sudden, he just went right back, like disappeared right into the deepness of the woods. I'm going to go get the others. Bounced away from the window, ran and woke up everybody. Alyssa, Colin! Because I knew it was out there. It was very odd. There's a note of transparency. I'm not a kind of person that I get feelings in the woods. I'm not that person that says, I feel like I'm being watched. But I started smelling that blood, and I started for the first time ever getting a creeped out feeling. That's a new feeling for me. at that moment in time. He turned and looked at me, and his eyeballs went boom. My adrenaline was pumping through me. I was scared. I was shocked. I turn around. I see my dad, and behind him was this very large black humanoid figure that completely dwarfed him. It almost entirely blacked out our campfire. Because of that, I was able to fully see its general shape uh, and how tall it really was. When something that's 9, 10 feet tall, weighs almost 1,000 pounds, is no more than 10 feet away from you, it's scary. You know, I was genuinely afraid for, of this thing. He was literally within an arm's length of me. He could have done anything he wanted to do to me at that point. He could have reached out, he could have snapped my neck, he could have smacked me out of the way. He could have done anything. He didn't. He just walked through. After a couple seconds of me just staring completely stunned at him, we couldn't hear anything. We started looking around for evidence like footprints or tree breaks, structures. And we figured out that there was this large brush pile right next to our campsite. We saw behind the brush pile where long grass had been pressed down, like something had been squatting there watching us. And we figured out that it had been crouching down behind that brush pile, waiting for us to move out, move out of the way or leave. It would have had to have been very close to our campsite. So we, we were pretty scared. It's crazy. What are you? No way. The only thing that we could figure is he wanted to go eat. And it was going for that deer carcass. He smelled the blood. He just went point A to point B. And I just happened to be standing in the way. All right, we got to go. 